I don't want to be a hater. You know what I mean? I'm not someone who wants to hate anymore. At some point, I let go of all the hate in my heart, and it disappeared. It was just gone. Things weren't the same anymore. All of a sudden, I stopped hating. When Door Ragnarok came out, or sorry, Door Love and Thunder came out, Doctor Strange, I was a hater. I cared. I had, and in my heart of heart, I gave a shit. And then one secret invasion later, I don't give a shit anymore. I stopped caring. The MCU is not what it used to be. This is not some brave statement. This is like just the most default, safest statement I think I've ever said in my life, to be honest with you. I said a lot of shit that can get me onto like an FBI list. This is probably gonna get me off of a list, to be honest with you. That's how fucking great this statement was. Anyway. I forgot I have that on. I watched the Marvels. And I went in there with zero expectations. And I have also stopped caring about the MCU's like continuity, storylines, progressing. I don't care anymore. They've killed it for me. I don't give a shit. They don't know what they're doing. Why should I care? And um, I think it was for the better. I'm going I'm to be, be honest with you. I think it was for the better. Because... No spoilers, by the way. Just want to make sure I state that. Also, I'm a little sick, so if I sound a little weird, that's why. And if my mic sounds like shit, I'm working on getting money for that. Uh, but yeah. So, the Marvels. I went in there not caring. And if I'm being honest with you, that was the best way to go about that film. Because I sat down, and what happened in Secret Invasion, it's not in my mind. What happened in WandaVision? I do not care. What happened in like literally the last like four films? I do not care. It does not matter. And honestly, I think it's the best way to experience the film. Because if you just don't think about the rest of the universe, if you just don't think about what a good movie would be like, this is a fantastic film. This is a really fun film. If you just turn off your brain and don't give a shit like the people who make the film are doing, then you're good. Honestly, this is a fun film. I had a fun time. I sat down there. I saw Nick Fury cracking jokes every 20 seconds, and I'm like, yeah, fuck yeah. Would Secret Invasion Nick Fury do this? Probably not, no. Do I care? They don't. Why the fuck should I? <laughs> So, you know, that's how I see the MCU now, of like, I don't give a shit anymore. Same thing with Star Wars, to be honest. Um, so, when you don't care about the rest of the universe, or characters being consistent, or like, the actual villain being good and developed, and the plot kind of not being just nonsensical, this is a great film. I think it was really funny. The jokes were great. They, they had like little, they had cats and stuff, and that was adorable. I'm gonna be honest with you, it was fantastic. I, I thought it was super funny. Like, this is probably the most enjoyment I've gotten out of a Marvel film in a while. Not counting Guardians 3, because that was just a good film. That was just a good film. Um, this film isn't all bad, though, right? I, I've stated, like, you know, <laughs> a, a few criticisms. I think that the intros of the film is really captivating. I think that seeing the gimmick come into play that they showed off in the trailers with them like swapping places seeing that um come into play how it plays into the the fight scenes was actually really fun it was really good i like the interactions in between the characters kamala khan is fantastic as a she, she's just fantastic um i think that the the actress is also great she's easily the highlight of the film in my opinion but everyone else wasn't as bad honestly it didn't feel like they were the same characters as before. Like, Carol Danvers, uh, Brie Larson, Captain Marvel just didn't feel like the same Captain Marvel from Endgame or her first movie. Which I guess makes sense because things change, you know, like all that. But I'm not going to get into spoilers, of course. You know, not going to get into specifics or... But, you know, it was just like... I didn't care that it's not the exact same character. Because they don't. So I just said... Okay, 
and just accepted it. And when you do that for this film, and you're just there for a fun time, and you do not care, I think you'll enjoy it. I think that if you really, I think that the low that this <laughs> this movie's worst joke is like at Thor Ragnarok. Or, oh my God! It's like the second time I made that mistake. I think I did that in the original recording. Anyway, in Thor: Love and Thunder, uh, like with the goats screaming. If you hated that, there's only one moment in this film that's comparable to that. And honestly, in another alternate timeline, maybe a year, if I watched this film like a year ago, I would say this is a 3 out of 10 film. If, if I really cared, if I still cared, if I still had a part of my soul that cared, this would be an awful film. But I didn't. I saw the cringiest shit unfold right in front of me, and I had zero reaction. And I ignored it. I managed to ignore it. And that is amazing to me. Like, that is genuinely amazing. So I think I've just changed. I also realized that a lot of my reviews are just awful. Because I review so many... Uh, let me explain. Wait, wait, hold, on, hold on. Let me explain that statement. Um, I review so many Marvel stuff, right? And I realized that the way I rank films... I, I don't see how I can rank a normal movie that I watch outside of Marvel and the Marvel movie. Because the things I look for in these two things are so different and it feels so awkward to me to give one film like a 6 out of 10 and then this other one like a 4 out of 10 or a 5 out of 10 when it's just like a marvel versus um i don't know like transformers i don't know something else i realize that my ratings and what i'm doing with marvel films is so fucked up because it's just fucked i do i have like a different scale for them and this is honestly, this is I'm just ranting. I'm just ranting, bro. I don't know, man. I'm tired. I'm tired of the MC. This is my return to to doing like reviews and stuff. And it's with this film. It's with this movie. And honestly, it was I, I had a good time. I laughed. I said, ha, that's funny. I don't care. I don't care. It wasn't like breaking the MCU like No Way Home does when they like go into the multiverse and are inconsistent with Endgame's multiverse which is inconsistent with the TVA's multiverse, which is inconsistent with the Doctor Strange multiverse. You get what I mean? This film doesn't break the MCU, and that's fantastic. And I don't think about it. Now, what's really bad is the villain. I'm not gonna lie. The villain was atrocious for this film, like genuinely awful. Like, I don't remember her name. I know that other reviewers are making this joke. I mean, joke, it's not really a joke. It's just true, where they just don't know her fucking name. I don't know her fucking name. I don't know. I wish I did, but I don't. And it, they just, they did her so dirty. Like, honestly, they just did her so dirty. It was bad. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it, but character-wise, at least, now that we're kind of on that line of thinking, Kamala Khan's family is fantastic. I love, okay, Miss Marvel as a show, I didn't really love it that much, but I tolerated it. And I thought that the actual character itself was fine. I love the actress. I think she like has a lot of passion for it. The family as well in Miss Marvel, I thought were good. I think the characters really shown in that film, in that film, in that series. And here in the movie, they really were a standout. They like whenever they cracked a joke, I laughed at it. I thought it was funny. It was like really clever. Um, and that's like the only part of the film that is clever. Everything else feels like you could probably throw that into an AI generated shit and it just kind of like tries to piece it all together. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's doing its best. It's trying. It's the AI is trying, not the people. Like, ugh, God, I don't want to be so mean about it. I really don't. It's just that, man. It, it's just it just feels lazy sometimes. Like the exposition is just dumped on you. Character relationships aren't developed as much as I feel like they should be. Um but the intro of the film was captivating and i was locked in for the entire way through i didn't care about how absurd the actual plot was i didn't care that like things kind of didn't make sense sometimes i didn't care that they were inconsistent with the actual power gimmick that they have in there i didn't care so because i didn't care it made the film great Honestly, if I were to review this, right, and I feel like I was a bit more critical in my head and really genuinely giving it a review, 
based off of what I think it is as a movie, I'd probably give it like maybe like a three, a uh, four, a uh, three. Um, but honestly, with how I went into it and how I came out of it, like a five or a six, maybe a five. I'm gonna say a five. It was, and this is the problem, because I know I gave Quantum, I think I gave Quantum Mania a 5, and this is so much better than Quantum Mania, and it's also so much better than Thor, because I would rather watch this than those two movies, which is wild, like, at the point we are at. I might have to go back in the future and, like, just re-rank all the Marvel movies. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you, because the way I started thinking about them has changed a lot. So I probably will go back and change, like, things or like make some like grand video at the end maybe at the end of phase five or six or eh, maybe phase five and just review everything i don't know what we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll see i'll see what happens or what i do with it but i'm just gonna say like a five out of ten is it better than quantum mania and thor yeah is it better than doctor strange i'd rather watch this one than doctor strange to be honest maybe i don't know man i i felt like, well, to be fair i did fall asleep on the second viewing of doctor strange I watched it with one of my friends, so never mind. I think I'd rather watch this one than Doctor Strange because I wouldn't be watching Doctor Strange. I mean, this is such a sad state for the MCU. This is so sad. Thank God that Guardians Three came out and was actually good, like really good, like not just like Marvel good, like really good, an actual good film. I would say a five out of ten. I enjoyed myself. I I can't say I came out like a hater of that uh, out of that film, and even now I'm not a hater. I honestly just tolerated it. I thought it was actually really funny. I liked the characters. I feel like there's a lot of wasted potential there with the actors, um, which makes it kind of disappointing, but I also don't care. So therefore, it's not disappointing anymore. And I went in with really, really low expectations, which helped the film a lot because it somehow cleared those low expectations. So, conclusion. If you care about the MCU... And watching a good movie, you're probably not going to like this. If you care about like the continuity and characters being consistent, this doesn't break the continuity, to be fair. It doesn't break it. It's just Nick Fury cracks a lot of jokes in, in some situations and all that stuff, which is fine for me because it didn't take itself seriously. The movie did not take itself seriously. So therefore, I'm not going to. And I had a good time. I had a fun time. Is it where I want the MCU to be? No. No, not really. Not at all. Is it where it is now? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it kind of is. Does it suck? Yeah, but no, nah, I'm just kind of just saying things. Anyway, that's going to be all. Um, I guess I'll talk about spoilers now. So thank you guys for watching. Leave your thoughts in the comments. Uh, make sure if you're talking about spoiler stuff that you put like spoiler warning don't like you know spoil it for people just in case they want to go watch it wait wait until it comes out on disney plus by the way honestly like before with mcu movies it'd be like oh i gotta watch it now like right now you can wait honestly it's not that big a deal it really is like if you get spoiled for it i promise you you will not care because i know that if i got spoiled for every single event if, if someone told me everything that happened in this movie i would not give a shit if you want to wait anyway to not hear my spoiler thoughts, obviously just go like wait a fucking like a month or something, whenever it comes out on Disney Plus. Um, it's not worth your money. I don't think it is. If you have like what I have, which is AMC stubs, I could just go. I already paid the like twenty dollars a month to go to to the movies whenever I want, so it doesn't matter for me. But if you like don't have that much money, it's not it's not worth going to. It, it's not. I think that if you just want to have fun, though, you want to have a goofy time, it's all right. You just want to experience a film. You haven't gone to one in a while. This is the one. You know, like, screw it. I don't think you'll you'll be too... It depends. It depends on who you are. I, I Anyway, whatever. Those are my thoughts, my opinions. I, I don't know what to tell you to do, honestly. I'm not here to do that, because I can't. This is such a coin flip of a movie. Um... But yeah, I'm not a hater. Let me go to spoilers now. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And um, see you in the next one. <laughs> Spoiler people. Hey. Ah, uh, what's up? So. I like the cat scene. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. I'm going to start there. 
the cat scene. So they had like this moment in the movie, just kind of explaining it, because I want to like make sure I have all my, all my own thoughts in order. Anyway, they have the cats. They eat all the people. The people on the comms like, let the cats eat you, <laughs> or whatever. That was adorable. Uh, it was adorable. It was silly. Did it have any like setup? No. Did it come out of nowhere? Yeah. Does it make sense? No. I mean, I guess maybe. Um, would it be would it have been nice to have some setup for it and not just come out of nowhere? Yeah, probably. But once again, I don't care. I don't give a shit. I'm like, okay, we're getting this. I like the sequence. I don't. I, I don't care. My brain is off. My brain is turned off um what else what else what else okay the actual like whole purpose of her opening portals to um well she's a cartoonishly evil villain whatever her name is <laughs> uh she is cartoonishly evil just like ah your water fuck you give it to me your oxygen huh, guess you're not breathing anymore give it to me your son somehow that's gonna work and fuel our son it's a lot of like things that just don't make sense. It's like how does the, the water get sucked up? How does the air how does the sun get sucked? Huh? Uh but like it's like one of those things where it's like you can't think about it. What's the point? It's just like okay, this happened. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, you got me. That's true. That did just happen. And that's just this entire film. The opening was fun though. I think the opening was really fun. The fight scenes were fun. Uh, the gimmick that they used with them swapping places didn't work half the time, I feel. Because they just didn't stay consistent to it. So they would, you would see two people using their powers at once, and they wouldn't swap. So it's like, why? Why is that, like, happening? It's like, oh, just because. It's like, oh, just because. Ah, I should have thought about that. And then, then it makes sense all of a sudden, and it's fine. So that's, that's just this movie, honestly. That, that is just this movie. All the way through. But the opening was fun. Kamala Khan's family is also fun. Those Kree warriors at the beginning of the film though. They are the worst fighters ever. They cannot take down Kamala Khan's family. And they're also somehow the tankiest motherfuckers ever. Because they were fighting for a while bro. They were they were catching hands for a while. Which is just, you know. Yeah. It's a real shame about the villain. Because she just exists to like make the plot move. And be just cartoonishly evil. And like, I don't feel like their relationships in between in between Captain Marvel and the villain was very well developed. I didn't really I mean I, I get it. I didn't care at all. There's a lot more just captivating villains in the MCU that have come out in recent movies. Like, you know, starting back like from the, I'm I'm gonna only refer to like recent films. But, like, the high evolutionary, right? Obviously. I think that was a great villain. Like, they knew exactly what he was. Thanos, of course. I think uh, Shang-Chi's father, Wenwu. I think that's his name. Um, He was also, like, a good villain, in my opinion. Like, I feel like the MCU has had some really good villains recently in some of their movies. And No Way Home. Even though I think that the, the movie's kind of messy with its multiverse stuff. And how it kind of deals with, like, the rest of the MCU. By itself, I think it's a fine film. In the grander scheme of the MCU, uh, uh, you know what I mean? It's like, uh, I don't know about all that. Um, but, but yeah, I think all the villains in No Way Home, though, were fine. Even the ones that, that people hate on a lot. I, I think it's funny that he's there in the first, it's, it's like a meme at this point about the lizard. Like the lizard is just a meme at this point. So it's, it's whatever, I don't care. I don't give a shit. <laughs> um... But yeah, no, no, man, like, that's just a movie. It's where we are in Marvel. I think, I think the fight scenes were cool. The CGI in general was actually pretty consistent and not bad, except for that one moment where she was flying up into the atmosphere. That looked really bad, I'm not going to lie, but I didn't care. <laughs> that's, that's like the grand thing about this, like the, the one quote that's coming out of this entire like review. I did not care. I do not care. <laughs> uh, but I, I had a fun time, though. I did have a fun time. And the people in the audience with me did have a fun time, too. Honestly, they didn't. Um, I don't think the MCU will ever be, like, as good as it was. Or at least as consistent. And with the same level of uh, quality that it used to have. 
which kind of sucks. And I feel like a lot of the, it's very messy now to the point where they can't clean it up. So we can only move forward. And which just sucks. It's lame that we have like this bump in the MCU chapter. And I'm glad at least that this one doesn't serve to make the bump worse in terms of like how messy the MCU is. And it's just fine and doesn't break like anything, you know? It's it, it that's good. That's at least good. It does kind of suck though. I should have mentioned this in the non-spoiler section, but uh, whatever. Um, but I don't think they did a good job at explaining um. Uh, what's her name? Kamala Khan and um, uh, Monica, because these two characters come from two different uh Disney Plus shows, and I think that what the MCU should really start doing now since there's so much you have to catch up on and so much previous content, is doing like a small recap at the start of the film or something. Because I don't think they set it up like very well. Uh, I don't know how they could have done it, to be fair, because it is a lot. It's very complicated. Like, how do you explain, you know, how Monica got her powers and stuff? And they kind of like show her from the first movie and her motivations, I guess. But... Ugh. Meh. It's not my problem. I, I, I've seen everything for better or mostly worse. So, you know, that's like, that's the one thing. I, I do like the actors, honestly. I do think that they all have, like, you know, some passion for me. Eh. They, they, they seem like they have passion for it. And it just kind of sucks that it's where it is right now. And that it is so messy. And so, so lost compared to before. But yeah. Uh, the end credit scene was cool. I liked the, the the first one, or okay, the the one where like she was in the chair and she's like, "I've been expecting you" or whatever, and she's recruiting uh Kate Bishop. That's pretty cool. That's pretty awesome. I I, I like the I like Hawkeye. I didn't hate Hawkeye as a show, so seeing that it's like setting up the Young Avengers. Do I care about the future of the MCU? No. Do I? Am I gonna be seeing the next films anyway? Yeah. Um, but that's like, that's, that's whatever, honestly, that's its own thing. Uh, and then the, the post credit scene, it's like, I think they're, ju they're, they're bouncing or jumping on that train too quickly with the X-Men. I think that's way too fast. A universe reset is coming soon, I'm pretty sure anyway. Or something, because Secret Invasion, uh, like, I don't know, man. They're just throwing characters in there. It feels so like... Because where is the payoff going to be for this? Like, actually, like, where is the payoff? Maybe in Deadpool? Maybe? But, like, I, you, for some reason, based off of everything that we've seen so far in the MCU, I doubt that, and how there is zero payoff to stuff. The only, the only like, actual, I realize now, like, the only continuation of a character from Phase 4 into another movie, or from a from a project to another project. I'm pretty sure it's Miss Marvel, actually. I think she is the... Maybe I could be wrong about this. You'll be like, oh, no, there's one guy. I'll be like, oh, yeah, that one guy. But I honestly think that Captain Mar or Kamala Khan is the only character that has had some sort of follow-up. That makes sense. That I just remembered one major one, which was WandaVision and Doctor Strange. But I'm not going to count that one. Because the people who clearly, uh, I, I don't want to get into that. I really don't want to get into that. Where Wanda was at the end of WandaVision, and then going to where she was in Doctor Strange, it's so nonsensical. Oh, God, there, there, there's clearly like a disconnect there in between the two people. Because it doesn't make sense. Uh, like, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't want to get into it. I really don't. I don't care. I don't care about how like she she learns how to oh, no, I'm, I'm getting into it anyway she learns to not be a fucking villain right and uh she goes on her like reformed arc in wandavision but then she has the book now that makes her evil so she's evil now and then but also i don't care i don't care actually i don't i don't care i don't care then we just get wanda's arc. Fuck. did we get wanda's arc again in doctor strange yeah we did did we watch WandaVision for no reason? Yeah, we did. Have we seen White Vision? Come on, you know the answer. You know the fucking answer. We have not. We don't know shit. 
Like, I'd say those are the only, like, real ones that have had some sort of continuation where something has, like, carried over in between all of these projects, which is wild to me. Maybe there's something else, and I'd be like, you got me there. Yep, you got me. That's true. That would, yeah. Uh, yeah. I just don't care. I don't give a shit. Also, when, why, why did, why did, um, like, Captain Marvel and Valkyrie get together off screen? Why? Like, I, I, I don't, I don't hate it, but they just, it's just like, okay, this is a thing now. Okay. Fuck it, I guess. Sure. Uh, you, know, you can make shit up all you want, I guess. I mean, I don't care. So I just said, thumbs up. Awesome. Hoggers. And I moved on. Uh, I think that's about it, honestly. I don't want to keep on talking about this movie. It's not worth more of my time. Um, Thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry that I've been gone for so long in terms of, like, reviews. And videos in general. I want to get back into it, but college is so tiring. It's so like, ugh, ugh. I'm more live on. I am live on Twitch a lot more often. So if you guys want to follow me there, I do things there compared to not doing stuff here. I want to get back into it though. I really do, and I'm hoping that with this video, kind of like jumpstart something in my brain to get working on it. I'm also gonna be working on hopefully getting a new mic. Um, if you guys want to give me free money, go for it. Um. There, there, there's a link for it somewhere on my Twitch. If you don't, I don't care. That it, it, it's fine. I appreciate you guys being here anyway. Um, but yeah, I'll be work, hopefully working on on getting stuff better and also being more consistent and actually putting out content. So, yeah, hopefully look forward to that. Don't look forward too much, just in case I don't do it. But yeah, um, I'll review Wish when it comes out. I guess that's like the next movie probably. <laughs> I'm sure that one's gonna be awesome too. That one's gonna be so fun. It's gonna be so good. Anyway, yeah. Have a good one, guys. Peace out. Peace. Ah. Uh, uh.